hundred miles. I'm gonna whistle all the while. If that's what it takes to make me smile, I'm gonna walk a hundred. Okay, guys. So <clears throat> I tried to make a video on this display, and my video didn't record. So I'm gonna try and explain. I'll go back. What I did here to make this so you can see first thing I did was take three large pieces of card actually I'll go and measure them okay so the larger piece of card is 15 inches wide by 25 inches tall and it's just box card like this and then I cut three smaller pieces of card this black one that is 13 inches wide by 22 inches high as you can see I cut three of them I then used scrap canvas fabric and I covered when I'll go around the back <clears throat> I covered the large pieces of um, card with the canvas fabric using a glue gun and I overlapped it to this side quite far I then used black fabric to cover the smaller pieces of card and I glue gunned them as you can see, now black I then cut some strips of the canvas fabric long enough to join the two pieces I did two for each part so I needed four of them and I stuck them on the pink before I added the black and then at the back of them just to give them support so when they were standing up they would help make it stand I cut strips of cardboard the same width as my fabric and I stuck them on the back so that's what you do first you cover your three sheets of large card with your pink fabric and then with the covered side facing down, you apply your strips of fabric as hinges. Then you glue on with the covered side facing up your black pieces, sort of centralise them. And then you turn the whole thing over and you glue your strips of card on the back of your fabric strips. And that will give you a standing three-fold display like this and because it's card you can actually use drawing pins to push into it and they'll stay I mean this is the purpose of this is that I can use it a couple of times and throw it away so then after I did that I got some of these little hooks from the pound shop I don't even think I have them sitting here they are curtain rod hooks and I just screwed them straight into the cardboard one at each side at the top of the display and then just an ordinary knitting needle I pushed through and put all my rings up and I did that on each one as you can see I used drawing pins to attach some of my products both in and out of the bags I have used ribbon just drawing pin to the back with these little metallic pegs to hold some of my products on the side and because this is made with card and you added these strips behind the whole thing is freestanding and when everything is off it when I take the knitting needles and the rings and things off of it I can actually fold this entire thing like into a flat carrying display Okay, so like this is not how I'm setting up my stall. This is just me getting all my stock out to see what I need to make. So that's that. And I just used pegs to attach some smaller things to the top, my phone charms. I'm just trying to work out where I'm going to put things. So the next thing somebody asked me was this. This is actually last year's display. I had a really vintage shabby chic. And this is just an ordinary basket with a handle that I painted white. And then I used wire to wrap round and make these little hooks 
and then I painted them white and last year I had necklaces hanging from there and I had the basket full of just tinsel but I just bent a couple of the hoops forward and put a knitting needle across to hold my key rings just now so I could see what it was I need to make a holder for but somebody asked so I thought I'd show that as you can see I have got hairband holder to make I have got bigger magnet holder to make I have like a thousand necklaces under here I'm in the process of starting my bracelet holder which I'll make a video of I've also got an art holder to make and what else do we have here oh there's a ring down there oh yeah an earring holder to make for it because this is a cd rack but the way that everything curves around you can't really look at it i was actually thinking that putting everything on one side and putting white paper in behind so they stand out more but as you can see i've got a lot of displays to make so i'll probably be making videos on these and this is my newest this is Lolly Love because she's covered in lollipops. <clears throat> I'm sorry I did not show you how to make this. The intention was there, the camera was not playing ball. I'm sorry I sound so out of breath. I don't know, I just don't feel very good today. So, I hope that in some way explained how I made this. It looks a lot more complicated than it is. But basically, it is six pieces of cardboard. Four little straps, six little hooks, and three knitting needles, and a box of drawing pins or tacks, whatever you call them. And that is it. And it's freestanding. And I will come right out and show you the whole thing. And all my millions and millions of stuff that I need to sort out from my craft stall. On the 29th of September at Western Inch. Simpsons Primary School So goodbye YouTube Till I see you again Say goodbye Before I go I thought I would show you some of last year's display sort of ideas that I had I am not using them this year but this was um, just a mug tree that I painted white and then you can't really see but it is quite aged, it's distressed and rubbed and that was from my shabby chic stall last year and I used that to display some phone charms and this big massive frame here which is actually got metallic embroidery thread whipped, whipped <laughs> was zigzagged and like basically put across in a million different ways and what this was for was for me to hang some of my more sort of artistic earrings from and this stood in the middle of my stall last year and I had loads of bright colourful earrings and then on these pegs here I had some really cool necklaces hanging and up here the peg held a little it goes up the way that one I had a business card up here with some prices and more necklaces and that was one of last year's stalls stalls displays along with the basket from during the video and these were some things that I made when I first got this mold of this ladybug and they are just eating trees I don't know if I'm going to use them this year we'll see I made a couple anyway and they're just resin and then I drilled into the top of them and then with some gardening wire I made this and glued it into the resin piece so well that was just another little idea for you oh and another idea i'm ripping these up now because i've been used a few times is ordinary cheap little picture canvases covered with wallpaper i sometimes use them on the table to lift certain items up off the table to display or they can sit up and because they're paper you can pierce them with things like earrings but I don't use them anymore okay so really this time cheery bye I'm gonna walk a